If you roll two six-sided die, how many combinations of rolls are there? It seems like a simple question, but the answer not only is not simple, but the question itself actually also has implications for your happiness and success in life. To understand this, take a look at the question itself. You see, most of us form our answers to a question like this based on our own assumptions. But what we should be doing first isn't answering the question, but instead challenging the assumptions. For instance, what exactly is a combination? When you hear a question like this, you might immediately get turned off and think I'm being needlessly philosophical or abstract. But this kind of thinking really matters, and not only with respect to this question, but also with respect to every conversation you have in your life and every belief you form. You see, a combination could be what's called an ordered outcome, or it could be what's called an unordered outcome. If combination here means an ordered outcome in which a roll of one and five is different from five and one, then the math is pretty straightforward. Each dice has six possible values, so there are six times six, or 36 possible outcomes. Under that interpretation, one five and five one are distinct, because order matters here. But if by combination you mean unordered outcomes, where only the values matter, not the order, then the answer changes. Now, 1-5 and 5-1 collapse into the same case, and when you count outcomes that way, there are now 21 distinct possibilities. And so even in something as concrete and objective as math, the outcome vastly changes because the interpretation of the words changed. This phenomenon is sometimes called equivocation. And the consequences here are not abstract. In science, an equivocation like this can mean choosing the wrong model and drawing false conclusions. In engineering, it can mean designing a system that works on paper but fails in reality. In everyday life, it shows up when people argue past each other, make confident decisions on mismatched assumptions, or just trust models they don't actually understand. Understanding differences of interpretation isn't about being pedantic. It's about making sure your reasoning is anchored to the same structure you think it is.